So in this video, we're going to build a formula that counts the number of words in a cell. This cell has eight words in it, and we're going to build a formula step-by-step -step that gives us the number eight. And we're gonna use helper formulas to do that. And when we're finished, we'll take those helper formulas and we'll combine those into a single all-in-one formula that we can use anywhere. So the first step is going to be to calculate the number of characters in this cell. And we'll do that with the length function or LEN function. And then we need to figure out the number of characters without spaces. And to get the number of characters without spaces, we need to strip the spaces out. I'll use substitute. And we'll point at this text here. We'll look for spaces and replace it with nothing. And that gives us the string without any spaces. And you can see that we had 47 characters to start with, and now we have 40. And now we can build our little formula here that counts words. We'll just say we wanna take 47, minus 40 plus one, and we get eight. And this works great, but we do have a problem if we come in here and add a space at the beginning, we'll get nine down here. And if I add a space somewhere in the middle, we'll get 10. And so you can see that we have a problem. If the spacing is not normal, then we'll get an incorrect word count. So to fix that, I'm going to strip out the extra spaces. We'll insert a row. We're going to use the trim function to strip the spaces out. It's automatic. And you can see now, if I drag this down, that we get 47, which is the correct number of characters once spaces have been normalized. And you can see over there that the spaces, the extra spaces have been removed. So now let's go ahead and adjust our formula. So that instead of using the original reference to C5, we're gonna use C6. And now we get the correct uh, word count. Okay, so now let's make this all in one. To do that, I'm gonna copy this formula up here, put it down here, and we'll come in here and we're just gonna replace the references one by one. So C6 is first. We're gonna come up here to C6. I'm gonna copy the formula that's in C6. And hit return. And now uh, looking at it, we see B6 and B6 also contains a formula. So I'm gonna copy the formula in B6 over here. Come back down here where B6 is and paste it. And we're just gonna go step by step this way. Now we wanna replace C7 uh, right there. So we'll get C7, copy it, put it down here. And we just have one more reference because B7 is also a formula. So we'll come over here and copy the formula in B7 and come down here paste, and that's our all-in-one formula. And I can take this now and copy it, put it down here. I'm gonna fix the references so that they go to the right cell. When we copy this down, we get a formula that's all-in-one that counts the number of words in a cell.